Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the new Guadalcanal, the latest edition for the Conflict of Heroes series by Academy Games. Uh, this one takes the action to the Pacific, and it just came in today. I uh, really like this series, as you probably know from my uh, videos of the uh, Eastern Front and the Solo Expansion, and uh, looking forward now, this is one of my first uh, Pacific themed game, so uh, looking forward to it. Also got the uh, uh, U.S. Army expansion, so uh, for one, uh, one sheeter. So we're going to rip the plastic here and take a look inside. All right, so the shrink is off. We're going to take a look inside and see what comes with the package. Beautiful art, as always. I don't know if this is original for the show, for the, uh, for the show, for my show. But this is original for the game. Or if this is uh, some classic artwork, but that's just pretty awesome. Academy always has great art. This will work. Right. The rule book. So some question as to uh, some series like ASL or uh, Lock and Load tend to have a rule book for the series. Um, so there's some question as to whether this rule book now supersedes the rule book for the previous uh, games, or this is just specific to Guadalcanal. Uh, perhaps we'll get some clarification on that. But as always, this is probably going to be a beautiful yeah, multicolor rule book. Uh, it's like the previous ones that'll guide you through uh, step by step. how to play, introduce new concepts, if you stop, and uh, so I'm going to move that box because it's been out of my life. It's very wild wow, with all this special kind of grass, palm groves, jungle. This nature, uh, it's at your European theater, that's for sure. All right. Basically going to be the same game. There's obviously going to be some tweaks, some improvements. As usual, there's always great color uh, illustrations and specific examples. This is online of sight, obviously. Um, ooh, we got different, different hit markers for the Americans and the Japanese. Now, that's interesting. They have different backs, so you can tell them apart. That's a that's a twist. Very cool. Let me say that a lot. This is so we've got Storms of Steel, Waking in the Bear, uh, Price of Honor, and now Guadalcanal. Uh, Canal. And then we got the details on the cards. There's rules, and again, hopefully they're gonna they're gonna clarify whether they're all all in one. So anyway, there's our rules, the different force types. Move it around here. There's the firefight book, also very full color. Introduction, some background. Battle in the air. We need some air units in here too. Commanders. Firefight one. Not partisans? Hmm. Get Getke's patrol. Getke's patrol. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Oh. We're gonna get to the map here in a second, but that's just so beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Alright, I'm gonna spoil the rest of the scenarios. We have the firefights we got. Twelve. Focus final gambit. The end of the battle for Henderson Field. Look at all those hills, wow. Yeah, that artwork. Two maps. So gorgeous. Go over. 
Summary cards. There's probably two or four. This is we'll play up to four. Tracking sheets, caps, action points. Uh, I'm sure it uses the same impulse system that Conflict of Heroes is known for, uh, which if we're playing solo. I'm going to completely toss out the window and use the solo uh, activation uh, method uh, from the uh, from the solo expansion. It allows you to take an action, draw a chip, or use the cards, and see if the unit is spent. And go from there. So this works out. There's a lot more mystery, especially especially when playing solo. Storms of Steel reprint. We've got the original edition. So looking forward to that one too. Alright, so now we're down to counters. As always, big, beautiful, pre-rounded, gorgeous counters. They come right out, which is always nice. So these are clearly Japanese counters. Con scripts, light machine guns, grenadiers, mortars, snipers. Nice. It's dreadful steep for me. There it is. As always, standard conflict of heroes, academy of heroes quality, which is always excellent. Nice and thick, pre rounded. Good heft. All of them. Right. I like that they appear to be coming in half sheets instead of whole sheets, which is good. So here are those. Uh, Japanese moon counters, moon counters, smoke on the swing, the grid. straight up dead, graphically. American. There's lots of. We've got one, two here. We've got six kind of sheets. Have sheets. We've got control. This is a standalone game. Uh, Starfire turn markers. Bushido. Positive and negative. Google. American Marine Forces, rifles, neatly numbered as usual, it's awesome. Got some boats, Starfire, American Wounds, Destroy Units, we do have some vehicles here. There's any planes. This is a terrain modification punch board. Some maps can be altered. There's new terrain features, so that's pretty cool. Nice. So that's punch board here. And now we have this. Brain. Teaser puzzle for me. So let's open it up now. Very nice, large, mounted, and geomorphic, obviously, so they together with one another for larger scenarios. And you get four of these. A lot of, a lot of water map. Mm 
There's a beachfront. Coming right in to the shore. And going right to the side. <laughs> no. Look at game. Very cool. All right. There's four of those for the 12 scenarios, plus the uh, map overlays. Those hills, though. There is no question as to what the terrain and elevation changes are in this. There it is. All right, so here's the cool thing now. With this release is the first version to come with the uh, tray with the lid. And you can order these. I think you can order the lids for the old game. They're old games. And put in there. It may just be the lid to the tray. So that it's very thick, very solid plastic. I guess some people like to store their games um, vertically. I do not. I like to just roll them flat and kind of cross stack them so that they do not um, press down and dish each other. You got the corner cards, which will be slightly different for this one. I'll open those now. But uh, you see how big they would be graphics. It's Jumping Soldier. But uh, in general, there's a few things in there. Just, to, just explore that on your own. But you can get the deck of cards, you get the dice, and the tray, and the tray cover, which is pretty cool. Another thing I don't like about the tray cover, first of all, you can see that it uh, latches in. It holds it pretty well. Indentation there. So that's cool. Really well done for the job. I mean, it's your standard academy tray. Uh, and you may find the dividers uh, in the Conflict of Heroes file section that I made to go into this. It lets you keep them numerically arranged, make them easier to find the units you need since they always tell you the numbers. But the tray, use the lid, uh, take the lid off, you have to take the tray out of the box. I'm not really keen on this. I may be able to grip it here and see if that works. Yeah, so that may work in the handle. I was thinking, I was thinking there might be a way to tape a handle or something onto here that would lay flat. And then you could pull it out when you needed it to, but it might be that this changes the handle. When you have the counters in here, they weigh it down enough to go in there. So that is what's in the block and now box. I'm going to go ahead and just include this, uh, the U.S. Army supplement. The game comes with the Marines, but uh, this is the U.S. Army. Also green. Also very easy to punch out. Gives you National Guard, regulars, some extra Marines too, apparently. And mines. Any of you, Melanesian police. So that's very interesting. It says that the, uh, that the scenarios for this can be found online. Firefights. And uh, recognizes or covers the Army involvement from October to December 1942, including the mine counters and rules in the expansion. I do want to tell you various unit types and gives you a lot of my rules as a supplement. So that was in there as well. I'm not sure if that comes with all the copies or not, but there you have Conflict Heroes from the Puddle Canal. Can't wait to play this one. Thanks for watching.